Hi everyone, my name is Leah and welcome to the kitchen. Today we're making a classic American casserole dish. We're making porcupine meatballs. I actually got inspiration for making this recipe from one of my aunts. While this recipe isn't hers per se, it's still a great dish and I'm really excited to make it. So let's get started in making porcupine meatballs. For this recipe, I'm using 80% lean ground beef. I also have an egg for binding my meatballs, some onion, a can of tomato sauce, Worcestershire sauce, dried parsley, salt, black pepper, garlic powder, and long grain white rice. Pour the contents of a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce into a four cup measuring cup. Fill the empty tomato sauce can with water and pour the water in with the sauce. Add two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce to the cup. And whisk the sauce to combine. On the side, slice and dice some onion. Add one pound of 80% lean ground beef to a large bowl. Add a third of a cup of the diced onion to the ground beef, followed by one teaspoon of salt, two heaping teaspoons of dried parsley flakes, a half teaspoon of garlic powder, a half teaspoon of black pepper, a half cup of uncooked long grain rice, and one whole egg. Use your hands to thoroughly combine the meat with the rice, egg, and seasonings. Scoop out a small clump of the meatball mix and pat and roll the meat together to form a round ball about one and a half inches in diameter and place the formed meatball in a nine by 13 inch baking dish. Continue scooping out the meat and shaping it into a round ball of even size. Leave some space in the baking dish between each meatball. Pour the prepared tomato sauce all over the meatballs. Tightly cover the baking dish with a large sheet of tin foil. Bake the porcupine meatballs covered in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. Remove the baking dish with the meatballs from the oven and take off the tin foil. Return the meatballs to the oven uncovered and continue to bake for another 30 minutes. Take the meatballs out of the oven to enjoy. So in case you're wondering, why are porky fine meatballs called porky kind meatballs? Well, it's actually the grains of rice that are made with the meatballs. If they stick out a little bit, they represent those spiky quills of your porcupine. Anyway, this is a great dish and it's a nice one meal dinner as it incorporates your carbs and your protein. All you need is a little bit of a side vegetable. If you're interested in my recipe for these porcupine meatballs, be sure to click the link in the description box below to visit my website, leahnoelcooking.com. There you'll find all my recipes written out, photos, videos, and more. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more delicious recipes.